So a very common symptom of a vitamin B12 deficiency that I hear about a lot is people having balance issues. <laughs> you know, just trouble walking. I'm gonna explain my story in just a little bit, but first, if you can go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in learning more about vitamin B12 deficiencies and how to overcome them, please hit that subscribe button, and here we go. It kind of feels like you don't know where you're putting your feet. It's like, my foot's going there, my right foot's going there, left foot, and you know, just walking, it just feels different. It is kind of hard to explain because you can see your legs moving, but you don't know if they're actually gonna like land in the spot that you're putting them. Uh, I didn't have it like terribly bad, but I could feel like things just be a little bit off. Um, I mean, couple that with the dizziness and the brain fog and the weakness, it was just like, uh, yeah, the lack of balance is concerning, especially like, cause I've been an athlete my whole life. Goodbye, Decker and Decker's gonna clear pass. Oh, he falls down! Kind of have to have balance to play sports and it was just like, what is wrong with me? I'm young. I should be in good shape. Why? I can't, <laughs> I can't even walk properly. Like, not that anyone would notice, but I, I, I can notice for myself. So it kind of felt like I was in a, in a major earthquake in 2010 in Haiti and it kind of felt like in the earthquake that lasted for like 36 seconds. That was going on forever. And when I was in the earthquake, it felt like I was walking on boards that were put on the ocean and just on the waves. And it's like, try to walk on those boards and try to get out the house before the house potentially collapses. It kind of had that similar feeling, not to that degree. It's kind of like walking on the boards on water. Hit me! <laughs> Teaches flamboyant shuffling techniques to dull blackjack dealers. And looks like he got dealt a bad hand. It's just like put your right foot forward, left foot forward, right foot forward, left foot forward, and you don't get to your spot, but it's just like, mm, this feels weird and I hope this doesn't last forever. So, but good thing is that with vitamin B12 injections, that went away pretty quickly. Again, like I've mentioned in other videos, the symptoms seem to come on and then leave in reverse order. So like this balance issue being one of the later ones to come on, it was one of the first ones to leave once I started the vitamin B12 injections. And I coupled that with fasting and you know, just eating healthy, eating really healthy for a long period of time and then fasting while doing the injections. That healed, like my body was like back to pretty much normal within two weeks. And that's crazy. Um, that is not the case that I hear from a lot of people, but I mean, I was going downhill for over a year. Uh, I know I would have been with, within a, within a month, I would have been in a wheelchair just because it was so laborious getting up and especially getting in and out of cars was like the worst um yeah so I had major weakness major brain fog I had a ton of symptoms so it wasn't like oh he just had a little vitamin b12 deficiency no it wasn't that but yeah I, I did something right you know I get plenty of vitamin d I'm always in the sun I'm always outside um you know just eating healthy getting all those vitamins and nutrients really helps it just helps everything work better especially your dark green vegetables you get that folate it helps with b12 ab absorption and yeah and then fasting while supplementing just giving your body a rest a break and just letting it use its energy to really use those vitamins use those nutrients that are stored up that are in your bloodstream now and just put them to work um you know not having to use the energy to digest food now let's use the energy to heal the body so that was the thinking there and it worked um i know a lot of people are hesitant about fasting and i get that um i'm just telling you what worked for me definitely if you have a vitamin b12 deficiency and you're not able to absorb b12 then definitely you've got to be supplementing whether that's sublingual or injections um but get on it as fast as possible because you just don't want your your symptoms to digress, to get worse. Because, you know, obviously the longer they go without being healed, the longer it's gonna take to heal them. We don't want to get to the point where you're gonna have permanent damage, 
Um, so let's nip that in the bud and let's get on top of it and, you know, get you better as soon as possible. So if you've ever had balance issues, uh, go ahead and share your story here. Share what it felt like um, and then share how you got better. Hopefully you're better now um, to share with our community just how you are, how you're feeling and the things that you did to overcome this vitamin B12 deficiency. All right, guys, subscribe if you have not. And yeah, God bless.